Oh, puro base is the first night I saw my election. I mean, this is a demonstration of empty bonding to the residents there. The residents there have trust in the MP. Not for one term, not for two terms, but for six terms. Without this help from the residents, I don't know. I cannot achieve anything at all at Pueblo Bale. Putong Pasi is a very unique estate. When we wake up in the morning, we see our neighbours, our neighbourhood friends. We all are very happy. We had a lot of integration with our neighbours and we made a lot of friends. All the neighbours mostly know each other. Any shop here, even the hawker centres, I find everybody here a friendly and help each other. Then we live like a kampung spirit. If I were to get a house for myself again one day, I'd probably try to purchase a house here in Potong Pasir. Many old families whereby their children grow here like my children and some of the children also buy houses here and live here. My memories of uh, Potong Pase is that uh, when we were young, life was simple, it was carefree. Being Potong Pase, we are a very footballing town. Anybody who lives here will tell you that. There's a lot of footballers, and then we don't bother whether are you a newcomer or oldcomer or a young kid. We allow you to play, enjoy the game. My idea of Potong Pase, they keep it real. There's not too many flash cars on this estate. There's not too much bling but there's a whole lot of reality. Wow. 我说阿伯给我种花要吗他说不是我的我去打电话给中西中知道咯他说不是我的我去打电话给中西中知道咯他说不是我的我去打电话给中西中知道咯他说不是我的我去打电话给中西中知道咯他说不是我的我去打电话
But there was one incident where my lorry broke down right at the temple at Avenue 2 and I had to stop by the side of the road, double yellow line. Then the next morning, there was a summon on my screen. I brought it down to the town council and he told me that what? It's illegal parking. I said, yeah, I have a reason now and I'm bringing it up to you. And he just refused to listen. It was a $200 fine. So I went to see Mr. Chiam. And Mr. Chiam did acknowledge my reasons and he spoke to HDB and the fine was waived. So being a man of, of his character, I think he's, he's here to help, not to you know, enforce the laws that are thrown on him. So he's a good man by nature. are very special because it is in the heart of Porong Pase and all the guests here are actual neighbors. This is very very kampung like. Yes, that's the beauty of this coffee shop. After my meals in the evening, when my good friends are around, they will join me and then I will scrum my uke and they will sing along. Well, my friends all play the ukulele. But I'm the only one here playing the harmonica. I didn't play harmonica for 40 years already. So they found out that I can play. They asked me to join. So I just joined in and I can blend into their music. This music was about one and a half years already. They are playing ukulele here. So they started with a few people like me all involved, you see. Then it grew up. A lot of people from other places also come and join us. They are very, very curious to find out we are a very unique group. Mr. Cham used to come here and sit down. When he sit on the table, people say, hey, then Mr. Cham, we will go and greet him and then have a small talk. Lah. He say, hey, Chu, you got any problem or not? Just tell me. Huh? I will try to look into it. I say, no, so far so good, Mr. Cham. But if there's a problem, I, you will be the first person I will come and see. Before the walkways were built, we were drenched every time it rained. So we gave this feedback to Mr. Chiam, and after a few times, he managed to help us to get the walkways built. We are in this estate. Huh? We don't have much upgrading, but we are quite happy lah, with the way he runs the place. Because our concern is mostly about the cleanliness the lift and the common services are there. So we are, we are very happy lah when he, he was here. Lah. We miss him. We miss his touch. We don't see him as often as before. So we really miss him. Sweet 反正是我自己做老板人家没有交杂费
，我哭哭啼啼过一生的，所以我唱可爱的人生。你不要哭哭啼啼过一生，你要快快乐乐过一生。虽然个个人生不一样。但是可爱的人生。What is uh, probably special about here is that uh, down here I feel I feel more at home. Whenever you come back home tired from work, when you get back here, the people are here to always, uh, you know, lift the spirits up. In Block 107, this is like the local, unofficial community centre where people come. There's no agendas. It's just you come to 107, you drink beer, you can watch a bit of telly, you can sing, you can eat some food, you can play some games you can just unwind. So that's what 107 is all about. And it's, it's, it's simple, which is symbolic of what this whole estate is. It's a lot of things that go, go on down here. We have like, uh, we have got parties, a lot of makan, a lot of food. We all eat, sit down and eat together. The event at Sumin's birthday party. Sumin is symbolic, again, of what this is all about. Simple guy, real friendly, everybody loves him because he keeps it real. I think the favorite part of my birthday is that when you see the joy of people uh, having fun, being happy, singing along, dancing, that, that's the ultimate joy one like myself can ever feel. It's a home away from home. It's, it's, it's simple but the spirit here, and that's symbolic of what Patung Pasa is, in my opinion. It's a simple place, there are no frills, but there is a lot of spirit. Streets of Ukot. It's actually a very symbolic place for Mr. Chum's memories. Before the Streets of Ukot was built, it was actually an open space, a netball court or a badminton court. And Potong Basi being a very footballing town, we actually started playing soccer on this empty ground. Mr. Chum received a lot of complaints about the safety for the children and the elderly. Eventually, he didn't send people to tell us not to play here. But instead, he made everyone happy by actually building the streets of Ukot. At last time, Mr. Chamsitong used to uh, organize this Chamsitong Cup. Then uh, we all will like, participate in it. When Mr. Chamsitong comes there, he'll be there to support us. And he'll be sitting down at the chair near the entrance of the court. In the Chamsitong Cup, not only Potom Basi team will be playing, there will be outsiders team playing. So we will not like, you know, give up. We cannot give up because the competition is being held in Potong Masih and we must, you know, go all out for it. Mr. Chum actually said that it brings the young community and the older community together, older in the sense of the mid-30s, those who are still able to play football. So when they actually come down, it gives you a sense of community feeling. From what I have heard so far, this Tiso Court is going to be demolished. When this place gets demolished, I feel the loss of touch with my friends, I will not be able to make new friends because that's what I like to do. I like to make new friends. This street of court is actually a very symbolic place for young people to hang out and they will definitely come to know Mr. Chum if this street of court is not demolished. So I think yes, eventually memories will fade. Mr. Chum's daily routine nowadays after the second stroke is uh, relatively relaxing for him. He eats well, he loves food, he watches t television, a bit of reading, he will do his bicycling, 
he plays with the balls to keep his fingers nimble. He does the walk with his walker, or sometimes he does, does not need the walker. And he will go to Podong, Podong Paseo, the walkabouts, and our headquarters to meet up with the residents. So that is his routine. This is life. He loves politics. He wants politics. And we cannot take away people's interests like that. We let it be until the day he does not want it.